Last night, opposition leader Peter Dutton accused Anthony Albanese of not doing enough to fight this incredible wave of Jew hatred ever since mobs at the Sydney Opera House chanted, where's the Jews? He contrasted that to how Liberal Prime Minister John Howard stood in front of angry farmers and demanded gun control over the, after the Port Arthur massacre. Whilst no one was killed during the protests on October 9, thank God, the events at the Sydney Opera House were akin to a Port Arthur moment in terms of their social and national significance. The Prime Minister today acted like this was outrageous and bit back. Peter Dutton's reference to Port Arthur, um, I think people will draw their own conclusions there uh, about that. I did see those comments and was uh, somewhat... Um, taken aback. I think when it comes to the Middle East, uh, these are complex issues. They do not need people talking up the heat. They need people turning it down. Totally predictable. ABC reporters today also attacked Peter Dutton for that and demanded to know if he was ignoring warnings last year by the head of ASIO to tone down the debate to preserve peace here. Dutton wasn't going to cop that from a taxpayer-funded media organisation that's been hijacked by the left. It was spicy. Mike Burgess last year said words matter when maintaining social cohesion, cohesion in Australia. Did you breach that advice in your speech? Well, as Mike, as Mike Burgess said, no. Again, the Labor Party were running this line through the ABC last year and Mike Burgess came out to say he was making no reference to comments that I made whatsoever. So I, I'm not going to be tarnished by the ABC I'm not going to cower because of the ABC and other left-wing media organisations in our country. My job is to stand up for what is best in our best interests. Joining me on Culture Wars is Rowan Dean, editor of The Spectator Australia, excellent magazine, and host of the equally excellent Outsiders on Sky News every Sunday at 9am. I never miss it. Uh, Rowan, uh, what did you make of that uh, spray? Uh, thanks, Andrew. Well, the first thing to say is that uh, the fact that Anthony Albanese didn't understand the analogy, let alone didn't understand the ramifications of October 9th and the Opera House, what the events that occurred that uh, night, uh, is, is serious enough. First of all, about that analogy, it is a very apt analogy for the following reasons. Uh, I remember uh, Port Arthur very well. The nation was in shock, and the reason the nation was in shock was fear. The fear that something that we thought could never happen in Australia, that we thought happened overseas in America or in, in, in third world countries, this sort of mayhem, murder, actually could happen on our shores. That shocked the nation. And uh, John Howard was smart enough and canny enough, uh, probably canny is the wrong word, empathetic enough, to understand that Australians were shocked, terrified, and needed some kind of leadership to show the way forward. The analogy with October 9th is an absolutely uh, pertinent one in that less than 48 hours after we were all reeling from the most barbaric attack on humans, on Jews, on women, on children, on babies, that any of us had ever dreamt we would, or in our worst nightmares we would see in our lifetimes. Within 48 hours of that, Andrew, on the steps of the Opera House, you had a mob, a lynch mob, uh, perhaps, a pogrom, perhaps, certainly were I one who uh, had family or relatives or any association with the people who only less than 48 hours before had been butchered in the most barbaric fashion. I would have been terrified, absolutely terrified, to see those mobs on the steps of the Opera House, remembering that the Opera House was supposed to be a, a commemoration of those dead people, to somehow show empathy for those deaths. I know. To have a mob, an out-of-control mob, screaming hatred and vilification for Jewish people was utterly unbelievable shocked the nation, and in the same way that we all felt terrified that, hey, could this happen in Australia after Port Arthur, we were all thinking, and I'm certain every Jewish person was thinking, I can't believe that this could ever happen in Australia. What has happened? Fear, confusion, 
anger, terror, all those emotions. And what did Anthony Albanese and where do? Was the Prime Minister? Just ignored it. Exactly. Uh, it's unbelievable. Just ignored I'm, it, showed no leadership, stunned. did nothing. I'm still stunned, Rowan. And I'm still asking that question you just put, you know, how could this happen in my country? I mean, it's staggering and frightening to me, and I'm not even Jewish. It's, it's terrifying. But you, you're speaking of John Howard. He also today had a go at the way Albanese and Foreign Minister Penny Wong have been dealing with this. In an interview with Aaron Molan, it's going to run on Sky News tomorrow at 5 p.m. Listen to this. I think this government, and Penny Wong in particular, has demonstrably failed to react in the right way uh, to the attack on Israel on the 7th of October last year. We must never, ever sound as though uh, we don't care about the re-emergence of anti-Semitism. Rowan Dean, isn't it nice to hear an adult voice in this debate, someone really putting it straight, they're no longer in politics, uh, and it just sounds sincere and thought through. Well, that's the very voice that has been missing all along. Uh, John Howard, as I said, had that ability as, as just an average Aussie to understand and empathise and get to the bottom, the bottom line of these really important moral issues. Contrast that mature response from John Howard with this kind of undergraduate Sydney University socialist feminist course that uh, uh, Penny Wong never seems to have left behind her, in which uh, we hear about, uh, oh, we've got to recognise a Palestinian state. Oh, we've got to um, not recognise Jerusalem. Oh, we've got to fund UNWA. We've got to, uh, oh, we've got to send our own envoy over to investigate because those dreadful Israelis won't possibly be able to investigate the tragic aid workers' deaths. I mean, every utterance from Penny Wong, all supported, by the so way, true. by Anthony Albanese and the rest of the Labor Party, and even some of the Teals, every utterance from Penny Wong uh, denigrates Israel, shows a kind of sneering undergraduate uh, distrust of one of our most important allies and, more importantly, of the Jewish community in this nation. And uh, it just appalls me. And yes, and when you call it out, that, Rowan, uh, Labor are prepared when, when, to let her run. When you wild call it out, they go, stuff. "Oh, oh, oh! How dare you call us out for doing exactly what we're doing?" I mean, seriously, Rowan, there's something sick going on, and Labor needs Labor moderates, uh, the, the 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 right, need to stand up and confront this. Rowan Dean, thank you so much indeed for your time.